Can you tell us about some of the challenges that you faced when you were sort of working within an IPC team? Well, um, I, I think I've, I've come across every pathogen under the sun, really. Uh, the ones of note, of course, are uh, MRSA. Um, I, I, I was appointed to my first infection prevention and control post in April 1999. And in the summer, uh, MRSA kicked off big time um, in the media. And I did wonder what I'd let myself in for. So uh, MRSA was uh, the focus of, of our attention for a, a, a number of years, um, followed by C. diff. Uh, we had to prepare for Ebola at, at one point, which was particularly scary, I have to say. Swine flu and of course COVID, uh, amongst a plethora of other pathogens that infection prevention and control teams deal with. On a, on a daily basis. Um, I remember the Stenotrochomonas outbreak that we had on our intensive care unit and we traced it back to the water cooler. Um, I have a million and one stories about all sorts of pathogens that I've had to deal with uh, over, over the past 22 years. Uh, and I think what strikes me in infection prevention and control um, is the number of plates that you have to keep spinning as one very wise executive director of nursing once said to me. Wow, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not an easy job, is it? It's not. Uh, it, it is a real challenge to keep all those different plates spinning, mm. uh, particularly when uh, there are huge operational pressures.